Hey yo, man, in this one round, I chose to tell you the difference between you and I. You picked a battle rap name like Rhyme Clops, and I'm just wondering why. Were you watching X-Men, looked at Cyclops, and came up with the brilliant idea of taking out the C and Y and adding the word rhyme in front of Clops and figured maybe I could just shoot people with the ray of rhymes? Or are you into the other Cyclops? The Greek mythology version, that definitely must be your guy. Cause that Cyclops made a trade with Hades to be left with one eye, to have the abilities to see into the future and know the moment of their demise. Ironically, the prediction to this battle was no surprise cause this Rhyme Clops didn't need to make a deal to foresee that he was going to die. Man, I had to break you down using the Odyssey. Cause I'm bringing another murder up to the gods Cause that's something that they wanna see I've already done everything that you doing I even made it to the finals in the Bomb Squad Battle League And that's the difference between you and me I was there when it was Bomb Squad And you're literally there as a wannabe But shit. You know what else rhymes with rhyme claps? This guy just doesn't know when to let the fucking rhyme stop You beat that rhyme pattern to death so much That it's hard to give your fucking line props and that's why you can't come close to me, bum. So fuck your little style. I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be done. Because there's levels to this shit. And to me, you was boring as a rhymer. It's going to be a back and forth war. So what's a little sword to a sniper? And that sword of defines the immortal technique that is stored in my binder. Because it's more than a metaphor or a liner. When I brainstorm and strike like lightning on these horrible writers. When I take the form of Thor in a cipher. Man, you can't compare the notes we have. I swear, everything in your storage is lighter. Plus, you look like an informant that'll have the whole floor in a lineup. Man. But you're so white, your favorite food is white on white bread with mayonnaise and Popeyes. I bet you despise watermelon, grape soda, and chicken from Popeyes, man. You're so white, I bet you laugh when Pac died. You're so white, I would be scared if you came around the block and stopped by because you would want to park me at every fucking stoplight, read me a cop's rights, and even if I complied, I would still get tasered and shot twice. Man, you write your bars on fabric sheets. Cause you the soft type, type of person I wouldn't leave around my kids Cause you give off that wrong vibe, I'm so cold to the touch You can feel it like a frostbite My men in black will smith them, I put the flash on them That'll leave you with your thoughts white I mean shit, when I give you a new memory I'm gonna make sure that it's not nice as a matter of fact, I'm gonna say that you're not white, that you out here living that Rick Ross boss life. And every time a white kid shoots up the school, you wanna claim that you got strikes. But nah, you just more dramatical than a mob wife. You is midnight food, and after the 12 wedum, you gon' feel like a motherfucking mob wife. Let me go ahead and go at the rookies. Cause it's the same cycle with the way that these men stroll It doesn't matter who you cotex with There's just different levels bro At any day of the month I'll make these pussies bleed on they pad And that's the only way y'all could have a heavy flow Cause I'm online waiting for someone to play the game But they can't find me a match in this damn lobby I'm killing you for fun I'm making you look like a battle rap hobby I saw your battle versus death wave And yeah, that was a bad homie But you remind me of the movie Get Out just another white man trying to advance his abilities through a black body. Yeah. Man, so why you all want to front for? Just because I do my hustles on the side, it don't mean that I don't want war. Yeah, I sell homemade jerky. And you can hit me up if you want more. I even shipped it to your favorite battle rappers. Meaning that I'm bringing the beef to your front door. Bitch! Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. It's crooks the Narcan out molding me, so don't waste your time. Lest the end result was feeding us forced rhymes, so we're lulled to sleep, hence the Z's. I call that a portrait. Question is, what's with the portrait square view? I dare you to step the fuck back or pipe down like Mario with your creepy mustache and eyebrows that are swallowed crushed glass and white out. In a bloodbath in your nightgown, while you huff gas cause your rhymes sound. Like an auto-tuned drake in a wheelchair go-kart propelled by his own farts. Santos is so large, everything smashed and squeezed together without a gap between. You're not a rap MC, you're a fat obese crook with no bars. <laughs> 
Loretto born Santos asked to go another minute. I wonder is it because he's living extra close to Mexico as he can get without Uncle Sam knowing he crossed the border to get his homie some fresher snow because his connection blows like his rat flow. Ingrained in him like Texas toast, he's a crook that won't or can't get a fucking job that's good enough to stock the damn fridge. Stop acting like you're famished and have another five bologna sandwiches, you fat bitch. Gordo, because your home language is Spanish. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Watch the words you choose to say. Your American status is bad as your family's passage. Human chain across the Rio Grande River Rapids. Fate drawn like death note for your mom was prego and trauma echoed through your auntie. Deb, hold my arms, don't let go. Watch your step for slippery rocks and crocs. We're at shoulder high water depth, looking like a bobblehead mirage manifested on the Federalis dashboard. <laughs> Not only do relations suck, Santos the fake gangster thug couldn't catch a body playing trust. I tell Santos to get his weight up, but he's already topped enormous. Question is, why do you hyper-focus on abortions like an autistic orphan instead of ensuring that you're not deported? If fat was televised, you'd be butterflying out the pan while girlin' flies as caterpillars cry, thinking that your skill with rhymes when your structure's so bad it's still behind more than half the world just like Mexico's architectural design. Crux is a disgruntled bitch drunk all the time with his uncle who's also his dad and his fifth cousin removed like a club bro. Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse cause all his bars get thrown out. I'm not saying Santo's a boss but it's Crooks is the face of the circus. Call it a hate crime. There's no way I'm a bee nervous but a weak verse from an overweight dyke that stole their name from a t-shirt. Beyond isn't cool. I could dig your grave but a swimming pool would be quicker. This wannabe black Rob never had a mask on till COVID. You're a fat cop in a crash squad car with a crack jaw filled with lamb chops that adds vodka to his Fanta. More than just a big pun. He's a poster child for clogged arteries and heart disease. How are you a fucking crook? Explain the schism. Do they still educate in prison? Must have took carpentry, made a shiv, then tried to sell it while the blade was missing and got caught shaving his chin. Because he was told to look for the sweet spot, ignoring Santos' overweight condition. Or maybe it's because his nose is so crooked you can't resist the chance to hook it like a massive fish. Combo to his pansy's ribs leave his core ruptured in a vegetative state. Facebook says you're from Texas. I'll cut his legs off with a chainsaw. Mm, and cauterize his wounds with napalm. And a crook looking like catamutilation gone wrong for recycling half the same hundred words. Like that's the main ones he's heard. Not only does Santos act slow, his wrath flow as a governor. <laughs> Lacks sufficient screen space for a top hat blowing his soft calf muscles when cops pass. Not only does he talk trash, he's a prominent cause of swamp gas. Not only is common sense a great hurdle, you spelt your name plural like it's crooks as the family crest. Calling you a vet is nuts as a neutered pet that rapes squirrels to their death. Santos could decapitate Herschel and still wouldn't get ahead. Stop the front, you're not a thug, you're an awkward cunt trying to squat a bug with a mop. It's just not enough, you Gabriel Iglesias. Laundry tub. Ha 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 ha!